destination. One and go. Welcome. Now hold on. Two. Yeah. Sorry. Damn, what the fuck? You screwed me up. Bring seven. Nope. Do it. Seven. Go. 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 To the bloodbath. To metal and beer fest. Taste it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that I screwed up Swole there for, you know, just a That's second. All right. You know what? That's kind of what we're all about here. Just a bunch of screw-ups. We get together, we have fun, we do our thing, and all together our, screw, our screw-ups turn into one big accomplishment and one, one big achievement. So, yeah, I hope you guys are all ready to, uh, to enjoy us enjoying the fruits of Mr. Kerry <laughs> Tipito, uh from Beer Fest, uh, Metal and Beer Fest 6. Uh, that was just a, what, a month ago? Yeah. It wasn't that long ago, was it? Not even a month. Not even a month. Damn, yeah, if you don't mind, sir. So, we are here. We are, we are gathering. We are gathering here around the table of tea. <laughs> you see, it makes a tea? No, I'm not. Screw you guys. Anyway, so I hope y'all ready. Uh, Carrie, uh, what are we drinking first here, if you wouldn't mind uh, discussing that for us? This is the big swole. So what this was is uh, it's a, a blonde ale, and uh, he wanted a, a beer called Bloodbath, and to get it the color we wanted, me and I think Mandy Myers was kicking some fruit around that would probably make this Double the man. color that it, it is and should be. And uh, she was like hibiscus, so we put it in there. We were hoping that it wasn't going to be extremely candy-ish. And when we when I tasted it at bottling, it was it wasn't. So this is like. Probably the second time I've tasted it while it's been carbonated. Big Steve talking one up on stage when Kale Hammer was playing, so. It sure has a nice aroma. What are we smelling when we, uh, hibiscus? Hibiscus. That's amazing. I've never had hibiscus beer until Metal and Beer Fest number six. So. Yeah, you normally put about four ounces of hibiscus in there, and we, I put about a pound in there. Oh, so. Okay. I like <laughs> over, I like going overboard. A little bit. I, I've seen it once. Steve, what do you think about your beer? I tell you, this is the best beer I ever had. And I gotta thank Mr. Gary <laughs> Thibodeau for it and everyone who's been supporting me for all these years. And I wanna thank the whole GCMA, my, all my metal family here, and for the signs, I thank my friend John, I thank Emmett, and thank you guys for having me here. I love you guys. Thank y'all so much. Woo! All right. <laughs> so what do y'all think? What's the general consensus at the table over there? What's going on? Any I, uh, thoughts? Any any I um they only got the sample maybe four or five at the show and this was the one one of the ones I was really like a lot because I didn't know what to expect and um it's just it's just different. It's not like a it's a surprise when you drink it. I mean it looks all crazy in that red the red in the in the clear bottle and uh and the label, which uh, we in, we had a good time putting that together, so it's definitely different. That's for sure. I, I, it's it's refreshing. So, anybody else? Comments? Peanut gallery? Anybody? <laughs> when I tried it at Metal and Beer Fest, I knew it was good because I had a few of them, but I wasn't sure if it was like because of how special it was and the whole surprise factor with it. But now that that's worn off and we're we're years past that, I'm trying it again. It's just as good. All right, it was good. It's very good. What else? No? Right. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Swole taste of swole taste. <laughs> the taste of swole is delicious. <laughs> and I have some swole juice. Swole <laughs> juice. So, well, I mean, nobody's complaining and uh, nobody's puckered up or anything when they <laughs> take a taste of it so far. But uh, you know, I like it. I think it's fantastic. You want to, you so you've all done yourself again, sir. Kerry Thibodeau, uh, Cold Comfort Brewing, Kerry <laughs> Thibodeau is um, fantastic. He knows how to make any beer you want, if he, well, actually, I should take that back. He might not know how to make the beer that you want, but give him a little bit of time and he'll figure it out. Because he's done some amazing beers, that's for sure. Ah, Jim Drew's party boy. Party boy is over here, let's see if we can he's see him. Right? We might oh, be able to see him. No, we can't see him over there. No. Yeah, uh, he's here in spirit. It's all right. You see, he, well, you know, I mean, you weren't here when we were setting up, so. There's, there's a little chair over there if you want to get that one. Oh, you can fit we can make room for you right here. Go hit the little. He's got wheels too. Yeah. Yeah. 
Again, for you that are tuning in late, we're, we're hanging out in Slidell at Expo Signs, Mr. John's place right here. We're uh, sampling all of the wonderful tastes that came from Metal and Beer Fest, number six this year, and uh, they've all been fantastic. I, I didn't have an opportunity to taste them all yet. I was at Metal and Beer Fest, and I did spend quite a bit of time there, and my daughter was there too, and Kate loves this stuff. So next time you have an opportunity to get out where uh, any of the Carrie Thibodeau's beers and Cold Comfort Brewing's beers are featured, do it because you will not be disappointed. So what's a, what's next on the cutting block? Ooh. Ooh, I'm up. So is this streaming? <laughs> it should be on uh, YouTube. YouTube. How do yeah. I find it? Uh, go to Crescent City Gumbo on YouTube. Hey, for those of you that are watching, we are live on Crescent City Gumbo on YouTube. If you're not watching on YouTube, which you kind of have to be, because we are live. Crescent City Live YouTube. Yeah. All right. Cool. We'll put that on. Uh oh. No. Oh, nice. You know what? Uh -oh. It did not go live. I'm getting the same error that I did. Oh, <laughs> oh this is terrible. It's just recording right now. We are just recording. Oh, I mean, that's okay. You want to just do it and then we'll post it later? Yes, that, I mean, I guess so. I mean, <laughs> let's just pretend like we didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, let, let's go rewind or fast forward. Or whatever. But, uh, man, I, you know, the internet has been having some issues with me lately for some reason. And uh, this is uh, number two for today. Um, we were unable to go live on Facebook, so we tried to go live on YouTube. I thought it was all working, but again, I was wrong. <laughs> As usual, I was wrong. But um, everyone else here was right. Uh, I don't know, right about something. I've been wrong about a lot of things these last few days, or last few months, whatever. But uh, yeah, I hope, uh, I hope this is going to reach you in a good mood and in a happy place, <laughs> like me. <laughs> so, who's in the house? We got some Sinners Revival people in here. We got Small. <laughs> Who else? We got it. Carbon. Corbin over there. He's hanging out. Carbon. Carbon. Carbon monoxide. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We got the uh, Bible got some... Ball. Yeah. We only got two of those. No, no, three. Right. How many bands are represented in here? We got Killhammer. We got No End in Sight. We got um, was uh, Sinners Revival. Who else? Ending? Mm -hmm. Ending's here. Uh, who else? Y'all not y'all better not mess behave because you got three security in here right now. Some security? Uh oh. Man. That's right. Yeah, well. Security's always fun. But uh, yeah. And art, if you don't mind, this this will be this will be great. It's gonna be live too. I'm gonna put the camera on. If you don't mind, Mr. Cinco, could you make an announcement on Facebook that that I screwed up? <laughs> Can you go live or are we just going to record and post it? I later? cannot go live. Right, I tried, I've tried three times since. Uh, all right. Yeah, it doesn't make any idea. Yeah, it's, uh, I will do my best. best. Everything's set up here and uh, I should be able to. So go live, destinations, streaming failed. I can't. Oh, man, that's just fantastic. So we are recording now. That's all. And what beer is this one? Uh, it's the Fireball. Uh, they called it Agent Orange. It's a. Uh, Wit beer, which that means it's a orange and coriander beer, kind of like the Blue Moon. Okay. And uh, instead of a regular orange, we used uh, blood oranges. Beautiful. So to have a nice acidity to it. Cool. I love that blood orange beer. I do. Is this one different from uh, the Severed Mass one that you did? I didn't do anything different. Okay. So it should be delicious. Oh. Very effervescent. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Oh yeah, well they're they're kind of up there when it comes to the to the carbonation. Now you see Emmett, also the beauty of this situation is you get to get all the footage and you can edit it however you want. Just saying. I'm probably just gonna upload the quick edit. Thanks. Okay, we'll do it off my phone kind of thing. <clears throat> I'll just share the. Well, let's figure it out once. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Okay. We'll do something. Yeah. Damn, I screwed that up. I should have brought my laptop, but I didn't know. Oh, well. So, this one is fantastic. Another light. Uh, it's very light as, in, as a beer. It's, it, it's very refreshing again. Um, just like the swole, the swole blood bath. So, uh, yeah, okay. This is really, really good there. Yeah. I know you guys are jealous, so, you know, hey. The down one's there. Okay. Anyway, what do you think? Anybody? Any thoughts? Concerns? I think this will be in every afternoon beer. Every afternoon. Every afternoon. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. This is one you would definitely want like after cutting the grass and stuff. Oh, definitely. Yes. Well, like, or just standing outside. <laughs> <laughs> or just sitting on the back like porch and enjoying it. So when you, in the brewing process, do you use the actual pulp of the blood orange or is it a blood orange extract? 
so like when I brewed it, I put uh, regular, I guess it would be like sweet orange peel. Uh -huh. So it's regular orange peel in the brewing process along with some coriander. And then after fermentation, I put it, transferred it from one vessel into another on top of just uh, blood oranges that I poured. Okay. Stuck them in a paint strainer bag. That way nothing gets stuck in the tubes when it's time to pop. I kind of taste like the, the peel, like it's got that vibe yeah. that the peel has. And they do, they do make dog biscuits out of this oh, range yeah. of this beer. Oh, yeah, we yeah. got one of those. The cold comfort biscuits. I tasted every one. I had to. I tried to taste it too. Oh, yeah, they're delicious. Yeah, they're great. There's nothing bad for a human in there. Nope. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> it, it hasn't killed me yet. But uh, no, was, yeah, Faraday went on one lot one yeah. time and he was dipped it in a jar of peanut butter. It was like, it's like, damn, we're good. Yeah. I mean, for humans, I guess they're a little bit dry. I wouldn't want to dip it in this. That would be that would be a bad thing. Oh uh, yeah, look, man, I, I got the story. So that's a hell of a My, new. my yeah. dog likes to take the biscuits and like yeah. stick them into my used work pants. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, and so like one was in the pocket of my used work pants. And it went through the wash cycle, it didn't fall apart. <laughs> went through the dry cycle, it didn't fall apart. So me and my girl's like folding the laundry and it falls out the pocket. <laughs> and I know I just pulled it out of the laundry. So they they'll, they'll withstand the, the washer and the dry. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> I I thought thought the, the dog doesn't sure. like to eat them? He doesn't like to taste them? Yeah. No, no, no. I get them like three at a time and sometimes he hides them. Oh, okay. I was wondering why all those dogs were following him. Looking for those dogs. It's, it's no, a late found dog, so I mean, no. Yeah, it's a little Pomeranian. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, cool. One day you're going to be walking through the house and you're going to be like, oh, oh I got eight pounds of dog. <laughs> it doesn't last long, bro. <sighs> she snatches them up there every now and then. She goes from thunder. I know Cranston. Cranston loved to buy you biscuits when you made them, so yeah. So yeah. But there you go. All right. All right Everybody well, good? Yes, sir. Any other comments? Any other, uh, you know? What you got? I want to go sit on my back porch and drink this. Yeah. And share with my mom and dad like I did my beer. Okay. And they enjoyed it. Yeah. I feel the same about the bloodbath. The bloodbath is another beer. <laughs> well, my mom and dad beer. loved the bloodbath. They told me congratulations. They were hugging on me. <laughs> Say, That's Your good. parents hug you? What's wrong with them? Hey. <laughs> I'm the, hey, one thing they're proud of. They're proud of a boy who loves them heavy metal. And I live the legacy. That's what I do. There you go. <laughs> uh, well said. <laughs> for lack of a better term. All right, what's next on the cutting block? What do we have? Uh, I believe, well, we look on the list. And we will, <laughs> we will yield to the fetcher of the beers. I think Tyler should be our beer fetcher. He's not doing anything else. Yeah. No. He can be the beer one. Tyler can be the fetch he. Yeah, I'll be the fetcher. So much work. All right, Tyler, I'm gonna have to put one, two on that table, one on, on the, on the head oh, table. Oh, jeez. This is a real good setup. I enjoy this a lot of fun. Uh, got way more people involved than when we did it at Crescent City Gumbo. I mean, we squeezed in as many people as we could. Part of the one we did, I was just one. This is one of the two. One more for the crowd. This is the bartender. Yeah. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure I couldn't stand after that. Ooh, night. Well, I think that was the night I had two blowouts of them. Those who were in the Y'all have an opening? Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I said, yeah. what kind of beer are you on? <laughs> As usual, my old comfort brewing did not last year. Ooh, this one's That's pretty. Great. Oh, yeah. Alright, so this is uh, put on this one. Yeah. Gonna show the glasses everybody's drinking uh, on. It's gone. We still got a little more of this firewood wall if anybody it's wants to see this. Back, back and back and it was good. Yeah, I like it. Hey, oh, I just don't want to So that's the blast yeah. that was out of this uh, yeah. this year. This year's Battle of Beer Fest. Every year there's a new one. I mean, how many years have you even been making the glasses? Every year or? Uh, well, this is gonna be the third year for yeah, the glasses. Yeah. Yeah. But the two, glasses two, 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 five, and six, I think. Two, five, six. Yeah. Glass, yeah, yeah, glass, glass. And uh, yeah, they come out great. Um, who does the glasses? Um, it's been varies. I mean, I, I've done the design for the last two. I mean, I don't. I didn't do the first one. I don't think. The first one, uh, I, I think, me and the guy from Crooked Letter did them. I was working there at the time, <clears> and <throat> he sponsored the glasses. And so we put another one there. We got those done for Grandstand. 
and then the next year I did it. Uh, I think those were done through Grandstand as well. But okay. This year, John was sponsored. Oh, good. Yeah. He took care of it. Yeah, they've done. So I mean, they, they look like a Grandstand product. So. They are beautiful, actually. I mean, I have a few of the ones from last year that uh, I refuse to use. So yeah. this is, yeah, this is like a Prohibition style Pilsner beer. Prohibition. Which would kind of be like, uh, uh, I would say, it's different. Look. Not a lot of turd. Yeah. It's a little different. Interesting. Interesting. The beginning of the batch and the end of the Did batch. you pour any, uh, the Barbara on it? Uh, no, no, I didn't. There might have been a drop or two. Oh, no, I rinsed my glass. Well, maybe it's because we didn't rinse it. Oh, come on. Mine came out gold. Well, there's going to be some sediment in the top, too, so whoever gets the last of that, that's probably more purple. Well, this is nice. But, yeah, it's, I put some, uh, I made, like, a simple syrup out of, like, sugar and some water and blueberries. That's the song. And then I put yeah. that in the oil, yeah. and then I took it from primary fermentation and put it in a secondary vessel with more blueberries and blueberry juice. That was squeezed on a, on a machine, and then I did that a second time. So the first time <coughs> it was just the beer with some syrup in it, it was about 4.8%. And then once I put the, the blueberries in it, it brought it up to about 5.5. And then when I put the blueberries in there the second time, it brought it up to what, about 6.3. How do you determine the alcohol content? You float a hydrometer? And so what a hydrometer does is it tells you how much sugar is in the liquid. Mm. All right, and then once it ferments, the yeast ate the sugars, so there's less sugars. And so it floats at a different number and you do math between the first number and the second number, divided by a magical number and then you get a number. Divided by a magical <laughs> number? <laughs> yeah. Magical. I like so the three. first number, you yes, divide so by the second number. Too many numbers. Those by magical. It's two thirds of high, so one third of four. That was the best. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the same number for every equation, um, it, and that's why it's magical. It, it never changes. You lost so, that number. So, oh, it's 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 so yeah, so you have like what you call um, standard gravity or original gravity, and then that's going to be how much sugar is in the solution in the kettle. All right. Yeah. So once I put that into a bucket, put yeast into it, the yeast eat that, the sugar content, leaving a lower sugar content, then I'll get that number off of it, which is called the final gravity. And then once you say we could just do some some math. So the sugar gets converted to alcohol. Right? These are like numbers that I like to use way frequently. So, so you want to give away your secrets? Uh, no, I, I, everyone with a good homebrew book knows these. Oh, it's so, not a secret. So your average beer well, that, that standard do gravity it. will be one point zero six eight. You want to? All right, we're gonna the, uh, other we're gonna take that number and we're gonna yeah, send that over here. I want to try this a little. We're gonna take it. <laughs> and we're gonna hit the negative button and we're gonna go one point zero zero eight, which is where a lot of them stop at for some reason. That's like standard. All right, All right and then we hit the minus button, and then we go times. Here's your magic number. One, three, one point two five. Right. And that would be seven point eight seven oh. eight eight. Interesting. So yeah, that's your magic number. Like people in the big industry, home brewers, everyone uses that. <coughs> is there a variable that is associated with that particular number? So it's Since it's, it's a standard? I don't know why they chose that number. I mean I've read like tons of books and I haven't found out why they use that number. Okay. Seems like it works, huh? Yeah. Because they could use pot. This looks a lot. So. Yeah, it's a lot bigger than pot. It's like a pie and a half. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. It's got a little bit more body. It's uh, a little fuller, I think. Uh, Sweet. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you fill me up, Buttercup. No, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I like it. It is very. It's got a great, great feeling. I mean, it, it tastes. Fantastic. Yeah, I'd already have the meat. I mean, I'd already had this beer made with these guys, and then they called me up and said, "Hey, can we get a meat?" And I was like, "No, we can put a bunch of blueberries in it, though." <laughs> Jack up the cut. Yeah. The alcohol level. What, what, no, what are we thinking, gentlemen? What are we got? Haven't had a bad one yet. I like it. Yeah. 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 Ye
Yeah. Are we cleansing our palates in between? Like true gentlemen. <laughs> like nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is now. I wasn't doing that. Then the name of this thing. What we're trying to learn about the right to wear the last year should have the next year. So there's a science behind the order with which we choose. Hey, look, if anybody wants to go into the class, go up to the There was a difference in color. All the lights are the same, too. Yeah, I mean, if we put it next to mine and it didn't change. Sure. So they just determine IBUs, is that more complicated than doing ABV? There's math in there too. Yeah, um, yeah so you, you count me out. You start with the, you start with the he beginning. He said he's going 12 ounces at a time. <laughs> you start with the beginning, like alpha content, like beta content. Ounces. And then, so then that's going to be international bittering units. Right. And then so it's going to be about 13 to 15. And then when you start getting the IPAs, it's like 25. I guess it goes to a scale about 7 to 5, but they've gone beyond that. Yeah. International Well, you have you have imperial bittering. Is there only two or three? I didn't realize that there was a bitter one. That's why he's going there. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of like a metric shit ton and a, uh, and a standard shit ton. There's a little bit of difference, but there's still a shit ton. This is, uh, ooh, so you want to smell this beer. So there's not going to be any heat related to the spirit. Jeez, I smell the uh, jalapeno in there. Yeah. You smell this? I, I've, I've had this one. I tasted this yeah, one. This is, good one. This, is, I like this one. This is a real good one. I like jalapeno. Yeah. yeah. The spirit's going to make you want some steak. Like jalapeno. Well, yeah. I, it's, that's what it does to me. Well, you got a bunch of tube steak over there that was on the grill a while ago. Right? It's a sausage fest up in here, everybody. We have more sausage? Yeah, if anybody wants to swing by, even though at the time of the broadcast, yeah, it'll be done by then. It'll be done by All of the sausage would be ingested. Jason will not get him out very never at some That does. Anybody else near him? Yeah, you expect this to burn on the way in and the way out. Everyone just killed us. Shoot us, isn't it? It has such a prominent aroma of jalapeno. It smells fantastic. So it's like jalapeno. It's better than jalapeno. The more hops and bitter it is, the higher. It does, man. You ever had jalapeno? Hot dog? Yes, sir. Tastes like yeah. But it doesn't it really taste hot or anything. Tastes like Doritos. I haven't had jalapeno Doritos, so I can't tell. So I think it's Goldos, and I was like, hey, these are beers or a couple of those. They were the one we're like, we don't have any more. So long. Yeah, they didn't leave it anymore. I think they each got like two or three of them when they sold them. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, was like, tried to check around. Yeah, those skull those are fucked. Right, so they're like wanting another bag. Skull hammer killed those or any more of those. Killed them. Killed them. Killed them. That's it. Well, that's the Yes. It's killed those in there. I'm in a room smash. We need more Americans like that. He's like, I pay my taxes. <laughs> I feel like that was what we talked about. Oh, like oh, oh, yeah, yeah, they got to see some My favorite beer. I've yeah. heard Art talk about that beer. I mean, that, I would have put this one with I would thought they could, you, that they like, could like lose the name and still keep going with the beer, right? No, they just, they switched. Switch, the, I think they, they, they switched the recipe and everything. Yeah. I think that the. I would not switch the recipe. I the the West Coast the wasn't beer. popular anymore, so they just quit making them. Thank you. No. I, I would call it the beer formerly known as. <laughs> you could have called it anything. Well, yeah, hockey, right? they, they were using Godzilla. <clears throat> and that's Mecha a Godzilla. And it was like an actual <laughs> Godzilla character. It was the, the robot Godzilla. Uh, was yeah, on, on, on the beer label. Yeah, yeah Mecha. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they should have changed shit. Yeah. 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 They paid for it. Yeah, Morse code paid money for that. They did. Yeah. They paid yeah. for the rights. Did they pay yeah. after the fact? Or they because it was seventy three or whatever. I think. It I think before they, they put it out, they had to get it cleared. Man, I think they had to pay for it. They probably went through CBS. <laughs> but um, man, this, this is a good, this is a good one. one. I like this one. I, this is one of the ones I had at the, sh at the show, and uh, it was good stuff. This one messes with your head. I'm tripping. You think on it's going to be hot? Yeah, man. I'm tripping on your first time tasting it. I guess because. Uh, <laughs> Either that, or I might have been like really loaded when I drank. See, this would go well with tacos. Oh yeah. This this would go good with um, yeah. something that's not spicy, like 
you know, like tacos or steak. fried fish or something. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, what is it? Fried fish. Mashed potatoes. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if you married a steak with something in it. Yeah, like bratwurst. You get the flavor, but not the burn. Yeah, mix some beer bread out of that. Yeah. I made sure to remove all the seeds and all the membranes, and I stripped them. I mean, that's that. It, it, it's freaking out my brain. I mean, my brain's steak. telling me this is gonna burn. This is the but steak. But it doesn't fair. burn at all. Me. That's oh, steak yeah. fair. Yeah. yeah. This yeah, is yeah, like the, sauteed mushroom. I'm, I'm such a big fan of jalapeno. No, the jalapeno flavor. And then this is just wow. Give me some tacos, give me some chicken. Hell, I'll be good for the night. Give me some tacos. Give me some good lyrics for your next song. Give me some tacos. Give me some chicken. Good for the night. 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 Good for the I'm telling you, this is this is fantastic. Wow. I wonder what it tastes like. All right, let me tell you about this dream I had. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Should I change the rating on this? This is a very vivid dream. I was at a memorial <laughs> service for a, a famous soul singer, right? No, I didn't know who it was. At some point in the dream, I thought it was George Benson, but I mean, it was just like that was the one. So. Everybody's kind of like it was in like a hotel lobby. It was it was a it was a memorial service. They said, "All right, well, everybody's going to sing a song by this by this guy," and I didn't know any of the songs. <laughs> and so, every, like one person sang, and everybody, nobody was good. You know me, I wanted to sing. So she's like, "Okay, you're going to sing this song." I was like, "Okay," and she hands me her poem. And she's like, "Here's the lyrics. Great." So I'm like. Getting ready to sing this song, this soul Shit, song, and all these ads start popping up, <laughs> and I'm like, so I made up a soul song, and then I woke up and I like I could remember the song. This, give me yeah. some of it. I don't remember. Come a few bars. Come you're, on. You're gonna see it at the next couple of Indian shows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> for the inspiration. It was the funniest dream. That is a wild dream. Now speaking of ending. I really like what came out of the ending. The, the ending was an awesome band. What about our end? How about your end? Whatever end you came out of, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but I mean, the ending was an absolutely great experience. I really did one of the best new bands. That ever was their ever. first official show. Yeah. Yeah. First show. And that, it was fantastic. Whatever y'all doing, keep doing it. Because it was a great album. Thank you, Donald. Thank you, Swole. Yeah. Right, Any confidence, Gary? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 I feel like it, man. Both sets. <laughs> I saw y'all play here uh, for the uh, shooter. 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 shooter's on the way, he says. Yeah. He's getting all good. Yeah. All right, let's clear a space for him. Well, it might be a little bit. Right. Mr. Shutton. Blew me away with that Pink Floyd cover. Oh, no, thank you. Like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, are y'all going to play that at Beer Mill Fest? He said, no, nope. I said, well, I thought it was awesome. He said, I hope you think the rest of us. And I did. It was really good. So, yeah. yeah. I need more of this. All right, with that being said, oh, this is fantastic. This one's <laughs> tripping me out. Carrie, I want to ask you, like, when the bands come to you for the to make the beers, do they generally have exactly what they want, or do they kind of suggest, like, uh, a general idea, and then you kind of Some people back? kind of know what they want or say, we like this, can you do it? And mm -hmm. then I research it, and that's that's easy. I mean, I like Some people come to me, and they're like, what's your favorite one? And I make, like, over <laughs> 70 different styles of beer, so it's kind of like... I've had them list them out before to people. Oh wow! Yeah, and then they like take one, or I tell them what's all gone and what's left, you know. And then they're like, "Damn, now we see why all those are gone." You know. So it's 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 just an individual thing, really. He actually makes one of the gold tastes just like that. It's really you do. All right, I'm gonna go grab the next round. Yeah, it's like yeah, I feel like I should chew it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> what made them go with mango for the, the fruit? They weren't going to do anything like that. No, it's just like, hey, mango with mango. Yeah. You know, oh, I were, could imagine what it would have been like if you right. put something in it. Yeah, the mango wasn't as prevalent as the jalapeno was. I'm curious, so what I have to say was the Oh, I've, I've made it more than just a meat. Oh, that's your blueprint. Oh, can you find out the meat? Well, you can throw this one on. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. I also did a meat. Okay. Yeah, just for me. Serrano. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It'll make you a party more beer. It was kind of like a spicy Andes. Pick up for all this. Yeah, right. Woo! I'm not sure which one we're doing next because I don't know. This is the two different same beer, actually. So tell us the story of Wizard Beer in the center. That was that was Kerry's idea. He texted me one day. He goes, "I want to do a well." Give y'all a history lesson. Last year, uh, Matthew David from um, Southern Vitality had his own label for the for their beer, right? He was on the on the label. Yeah, the troublemaker. The troublemaker. Yeah. So John John hit me up and said, "Look, we want to honor our bass player, man. Can we put him on the label?" I said, "Yeah, do whatever you want, man. You know, it doesn't matter to me what's on the label. I don't care if it's obscene." <laughs> and he's like, "Okay, cool. So we did that." He is there next year. And then. Uh, Let's see, I want to say Les was talking about something about mixing a beer with some tea or something, you know? And I was like, yeah, it'd be cool to make you a beer, man. And I think you saw it, I was like, let's make him a beer. Well, you, we were working on the Sinners, you know, we had the Sinners, I, we had done a, um, Brandhead saw the, uh, the Shiner Bob, and if you notice that the Sinners label is very similar to the Shiner Bob. And um, so we made a sticker of that first, and then eventually, like, when we decided we were going to play at Metal and Beer Fest, we, um, we said we well, do have to make that reality, so we, that's what we came in that. Yeah, the decal with the logo was, you know, created a long time ago, and it just it flowed perfectly when it came time to picking what kind of beer we were going to do. And it was like, let's just do it, adopt the box, let's do the center beer extract. Well, yeah, it was going to be a regular box, I think, and I put some honey in there, and it spiked it up, and it, it doubled the ABV yeah. on it. So I was yeah. like. I was like, hey, start. I don't know if you're aware, but any any Doppelbox out there, they all end with an A T O R. I didn't know that. You and told like me that. Like the name, so Andy, Andy Gator. Right, right, right. It's a Doppelbox. Right on. All right, and so it, it ends with A T O R. And then yeah, and so you have like all these cool beers out there that actually have that at the end of it. There's one called a Salivator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember her. And yeah, he was like, <laughs> and he was like, yeah, man, he, we got a song called The River, and I'd love to call it The River Raider. I was like, that sounds cool. That's so, so yeah. that was, that's where we decided to that great idea. So, cool how it all kind of came together. When I was doing the label for the, 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 rec, the basic label for the beer, um, Harry texted me, I got an idea. The bass player you got holding his bass up with the applause sign, a goat with a wizard hat on, and yeah, it's going to be a great label. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'll see if I can make that happen. <laughs> and it turned out. So, uh, it's really cool. Very, very nice. That's our uh, bass player, Professor Wizard. Les, uh, he's, uh, he's not here tonight. He's not a really huge beer guy, but uh, he's here in spirit. He's a huge beard guy. He is a huge beard guy. This is the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah. they're, they're same the same beer. beer, it's just the, the labels are It's a limited edition yeah. box. Yeah. One out of every four beers is labeled with the wizard label. I got it though. I actually have one. Yeah, you so gotta have some to drink. Yeah. <clears throat> the bottle's the most important. Sweet match. Yeah. On that one. But the beer is fantastic. Right, the, the rarest beer label this year is, is the Wizard. Because there's only oh, yeah, like like 25 or 30 of them that were made. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, 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 what's the minimum you make of a batch? Um, like, uh, two cases? I mean, I'll, I'll make I four, but I'll, I'll keep it. I don't oh, think you want to. Oh, yeah, there's still some in there. If anybody else needs some. Four cases. Yeah, four five. I got it. Yeah, no. Six. Dom, you need some more? Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. good. Thank you. I'm driving a velocity car. You might be riding in their trunk. <laughs> Maybe. You can just put them out on the side of I-10, man. Just yeah. kick me out. Have you, you ever made, made a hemp beer? Has he? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I have. Did that answer your question? <laughs> Guess it was a dumb question. Sounds like you're dumb. dumb. That was a dumb question. It's a couple of them. They're good too. I've had a couple of them. Let's see. Back in like pre 2014. You I made the only smokable beer. <laughs> Back in like 2000, before 2014, I didn't. I didn't know. Uh, the beer or drink beer at all. Hmm. I, I didn't like beer. Either. Oh shit! And then a friend of mine made some beer, and it, it had some hemp in it. <laughs> and then I started brewing beer. 
And then like six months later, I was working in a brewery. So about two and a half years after that, I was working in two breweries. So um, it became a lifestyle. I, so I was working in two breweries, working two shifts, and going home and still brewing beer. Jeez. That's dedication right there. Some home brewers will brew like twice a year. <laughs> and I'll brew like twice in a day. <laughs> And then, like, so he's ever said, twice on a Saturday, twice on a Sunday, depending on what's going on. And every year, my girl's like, How are you going to make this happen? <laughs> How are you going to brew this beer? And it's like, I, I figure it out, and then I'll just stick with it. You know, I, I know what it takes to get that beer from from drain to the bottle. What's the time frame? Being, being popping open. Yeah, so it's just, at first, it's a, about two or three pages out of a notebook, you know, and then from there it's just trying to keep, keep what I have done, what's in a bottle, what needs to be brewed, mm -hmm. what do I need to go get, you know. So it, 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 it's time consuming, but it, it keeps me busy. Do you, you keep all your recipes written down somewhere? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, and when I've worked in, uh, so I worked at Lazy Magnolia and I have one of my recipes there. I, I just was honored enough to have them do it. We never talked about money or anything like that. So years later, people are like, man, you must be getting paid off of that. It's like, no, I don't still have a job. You know? <laughs> but uh, that went to 28 different states. Wow. You know, legally, that. legally. So, and it was, uh, called, it was called KMG. And initially, they started, I wanted to just name it Mellow Gold. And then on the boards, they started writing KMG for Carrie's Mellow Gold. Then they started talking to people coming through on tours and stuff, and someone started making up stuff for it. And they came up with Hill Mississippi Gold. And that's where the brewery was. Okay. So they started calling it that for a minute. And then <laughs> they like put my name on the bottom of the six pack, the whole story of how it was a home brewer and like made it pre prohibition You're style beer. Huh? And then like <laughs> so then they tried to sell it in the Texas market. In Texas don't want to sell any beer that has any other state represented on it other than Texas. So they said, we'll change the name of that. We'll sell it like hotcakes. We like the beer. It tastes great. So they went back to KMG and carries on the floor. So that was, I got some six they packs of house and shit. No, no, they just continued it. They, they built like a lesser beer and couldn't sell that. I can vouch for that. I've been there recently. And the only thing that they're pushing that they ever made was is sub Well, no offense to them, uh, but I got a flight, four totally different types of beers, and they all tasted the same. <laughs> <laughs> Not a, no offense taken, I'm sure. <laughs> well, these are kind of different, huh? Yeah. Well, just a hair. Yeah, like about three weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Wow, you've been there? I was there a lot. Yeah, I was there a couple weeks ago. Probably. Yeah. You know, I, for some reason, you know, you know I'm pretty particular about my mm -hmm. and you have the timber beans. Right? I love timber beans. Yeah, so do I. The last three times I've been there, I swear that it's, it's, it's changed. Totally yeah, it, it's not as good. No, it's, it's not, not as not, strong. It's not bitter. It's colored yeah. off. Yeah, it's, I don't know. And, it, and they won't, they won't admit that they've changed it's completely them. different. Yeah. They won't. And it tastes they won't do the science to keep it tasting the same. Well, I'm sorry to say again. They won't do the science to keep it tasting the same. Uh, okay. I don't know why. I mean, they yeah, had like true. they had like two or three very extensive knowledge people working there, and they just weren't listening to us at all. <laughs> yeah, that's the last time. Like, this beer is definitely different. You know, I've had it. I got so a, I got their like some kind of stout. Uh, I got the Timber Beast. They had a hazy. And I think I got some variant of the Southern Pecan, like whatever their, their oh, variant was. Vanilla, the yeah. vanilla Pecan. And see the... Uh, I mean, salt and caramel. And, and none of the beers to which you just mentioned are on the market. They're just all in that tap house. Well, they all had the same... It was like... They had an overwhelming flavor profile that was dominant. And the style of beer... Couldn't even protect <laughs> you. Know, the stout shouldn't anything like That's what I'm saying. Yeah, right. Carrie, I wanted to ask you something. The, uh, I know that your your playlist of bands for the Metal Fest is like light to heavy. Oh, so great. And then I just learned tonight that when you do this tasting, you do light to heavy. 
Is that just a synergy or is that just, just a coincidence or is that just a cool way to, to structure both the both both end up? Well for the palette you want to go light to heavy or light to dark. Okay. Um and to me with bands I always try and set them up with the with the thought that someone might leave if they're all band players. So it's like you know, you know, it's like so you go from light to heavy, and then if someone's like, "Oh, this is too much for me," they saw their band, and they can go there. <laughs> You're not missing shit. It's very thoughtful. It's like the frog in the boiling water. You know, he just kind of gets hotter and hotter. They don't notice. I used to get like some super big sports band. The swole. Them yeah. revival kids, man. Trans metal. Well, used to be. Yeah. No, we're we're very. Appreciative for having you yeah, having us we, open the festival. We've got so much love for the UCMA. It's, it's great. Yeah, no. very welcome, very fellowshipy. You know, all things considered. Oh, now let's talk about how great this thing is. What's next? I'd rather do the next. So, what's next? Now, Center's Revival has been coming along. Yeah, you guys have been playing a lot of gigs. So, congrats on that, man. All right, man. He takes no prisoners. Yeah, yeah I mean, you can. Keep you guys, you know, playing down that bay, like back tomorrow or something? beer lovers, yeah. you like yeah, great yeah, music. Cool. I mean, what's there about it? Yeah. Right. And it's not that you don't get a good response from everybody. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. You do have a great playlist. I mean, you got a great bag of tricks you can pull from. So. It's so Come with me. You're going to be singing this. Yeah, I put my heart and soul into it. You do. You care more than I do. No. It's my life. Hey, look, there's the party boy. His back. Look at that back. I'm trying to figure out what's happening. Pretty close, dude. Good job. Speaking of killer bands, yes, what do we have here? The pet that I use was doing that. What is next? There must be a story behind this. Ting Ting. This is the bell that I'm talking about. John. It was pretty cool. Yeah. 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 That's not my name. Remember the name of that band? The no, Tink Tink. What is this? This is uh. No one in All right. No one in sight. This is one of Carrie's bands. This is a Yingling clone, or is this yeah. a Yingling modified? What this, is this? It's a Yingling clone. Yingling or, American Amber. Yingling the Amber. Yeah, it's an American Amber. Uh, I made I made a water last time. This time I made a dill. Uh, the difference between the two is one has more of a robust flavor, and that's the ills. Um, when lagering, you go through three different stages of temperature, and what that does is it, it makes a bunch of <coughs> flavor along with other things in the beer settle down to the bottom. Right. So, um, the lager is yeah. more colder, right? And a yeah. lager yeah. ferments at cold temperatures on the bottom, yeah. and yeah. it will ferments at warmer temperatures on the top. Right. So, like right. when when you're lagering, you you yeah. dip through it. You filter out right, some, right, of the, right. some of the, uh, the taste, and like a uh, person with a, yeah. a well palate yeah. can tell if it's a lager or or an ale, mm -hmm. because uh, again, uh, an ale is going to have a like lot more craftier taste. Right. It's going to have a lot right. more. Right. Right. So, <laughs> so Carrie, like, no, is this any different than the, than the uh, earlier edition with the with the, with the more union label? Is it a different style or is it the same? It's the same beer. Okay. Same beer. Same beer. I, I think I've had, it, I had one of the earlier ones. I <laughs> I've always been a fan of the amber beers. I mean, this one is uh, this one's really good. And no, it's not nutty. It's called an amber. No, I do actually. I do. I do get that. So it's just like a little I don't know what it was, but just all over. But it's it's fantastic. It's it's like it's got a whole body. It's, it's delicious. I would it compare to the crusty gumbo beer of of a recent Oh, the um, the, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you take it from there. The Crescent City Gumbo beer of the name of which we cannot mention. I can mention it, but I'm just, you know, the crack the crack. It. <laughs> it's actually um. um I would put it at about the same level. It's it's a little different. Cause it's the same beer. It's the same beer. Right. Same beer. Why is it better? Oh wait, it's a different name. Oh, it's the tainted. Don't get that tricky. I mean, 
You <laughs> go hit the cricket. You bring it! My favorite one. I'll add, I'll add like really some. Good. I'll add like some. I had a honey. Sure you want to This is really good. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody wants some more? I mean, the thing I'll sell it to you like four. Oh, it's really good. That's fine. It's all gave you like a multiple. To me, if it works, I'm just he, he tried to like. Yeah. Well, the, la the last batch was a lot. Of, I'm gonna. I'm waiting to see yeah. who's gonna fist fight <laughs> first. That's why. Yeah. 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 Brent's first, first batch. Is, okay. So so that, I'm waiting to see who's gonna fist fight first tonight on the video. Is it Brent or Dom or Brent and Small? Last fist fight. Yeah. This might be all. You know. I'm gonna put some wrestling. You know, like Borat. You like wrestling? Nobody's fisting. It's only Brent. It's really good. I love it. I do like the universe. And the red. So, Rusty Roof? <laughs> Rusty Roof. Bloody basic. Rusty Roof? No. Yeah, Bloody yeah, yeah. Shipping anywhere. Not on occasion. You were a champion. That was a beer. That should be a beer. Depending on which uh, valve you adjust. Anyway. Right. What would the flood in basement be? Flood in basement would be a locker. Right, whatever. Flood in basement would be a locker. Something with star and ease in it. I think it would have to be a nice beer. shrimp in there, we pulled it out. And we were like, we showed it to the president of our club, and we was like, we can't use this, huh? He's like, well, there's oyster beers. And the dude started laughing, because he, he knew what he wrote on the fucking paper. Yeah. And it was like, what, you put this in here? He's like, yeah. I was like, well, you gotta fucking brew this beer, or you're fucking out the club for three months. So he didn't brew it, so he was out the club for three months, huh? But then four other people brewed the beer, and me and my buddy was oh. like, how the fuck are we gonna brew a beer with crawfish, I mean, with shrimp in it? <laughs> So what we did was we had a shrimp bowl, and we ate all the stuff. We had fucking <laughs> corn, potatoes, right. all, the stuff you, all the stuff you put in all the fucking in crawfish, you know, jalapenos, couple of roast peppers, whatever the fuck. And we took yeah. that liquid, and we strained it in like a strainer bag, and we took that, and that's what we, we heated it back up, and that's what we, that's what we mashed yeah. the grain in. Huh. And then we made that, and we put it in the humpback competition. Which is like Mississippi come back, come back, God. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we put it in that competition under the experiment competition and took the gold medal with it. What? Yeah. what? Okay, so you could probably do it with gumbo. Oh, and so have you have you ever heard of Shafunta? Uh -huh. Yeah. Josh, the sure. brewer, guy owns it. He loved that beer. He came and he said, Man, you got any of it? And I said, Yeah, I sent him all the six pack. When we were done, he was like, You gotta give me the recipe. So I told him what we did, and he's like, that, That's it. I was like, yeah, that's all we did, you know, and he was like, holy shit, so he made something, he was like, gee, bottles were exploding in my fucking house for like months. <laughs> <laughs> that could be, that could be like two things, it could be either high carbonation, which I deal with sometimes, or it could be, you know, some funk in a bottle, <laughs> so I don't know if he strained all his meat particles out of his water or not, but speaking of nutty, speaking of strained meat. <laughs> I have had an oyster beer. It was interesting. Yeah, oyster oyster beer. Beer. Yeah. He did what a beater came out with a crawfish ball beer. <laughs> what and what we were just talking about, but they put some zatarans and some water and mashed your shit. Nothing hell. Yeah, but no, it was it was all right, but it, it wasn't what I made what we call swamp ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were like, first place for experimental swamp ass. <laughs> <laughs> Are you right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we got the swamp ass. That's perfect, man. Did you try uh, Benjamin's gumbo beer? Uh, uh, Benjamin's in Lafayette now. He was the president of the, what's that beer club here in the North Shore? Yeah, a couple of them. Uh, yeah, the Bayou Brewers. Brewers. Right? Crew of Brewers. The Crew of Brewers and the Bayou Brewers. Yeah. Yeah. That's coming up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so he made a gumbo beer. It was good. It was a little trippy. My palate's like very tame, so when I drink those crazy beers, man. So he must have made one hell of a brew. Yes, he is. It's a brew. It's a brew. Cool. So yeah, gumbo beer. Cool. Shrimp beer. They put brew like B R O U X. Like a oh, yeah. E A. Yeah. Well, that's the gumbo yeah. master. The brew crew? Yeah, it's still both of them are AUX. Yeah, it's yeah. 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 You get the samples, they give you a little bit like this. Yeah. 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 that bigger round. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
be a prospect. You got real drinkers like they yeah. like slam it and say you have to go to Vietnam. That's about to be the one at the casting center last year. I was highly yeah, I want to go. It's uh, oh, shit, it's next week. Yeah. These guys said they wanted a, a brown ale. It's like a shitty week. brown ale. And they were like, oh, can we call it this one? <laughs> 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 that's how it is. Fuck yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, a brown ale. Yeah. 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 I don't think I have I thought that was the name of the name so much of that first. Shitty brown? Shitty. It is. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, never mind. They were like, you want a brown ale? You want a brown ale? Yeah. 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 For the brown ale, I do like brown ales. I do. Then again, I like anything with an alcohol content. What is this? Even the hand sanitizer. I love it. It's delicious. Yeah, that starts out as beer. It explains a lot, doesn't it? Shitty brown ale. Can you make a hand sanitizer out of what's left over from your beer? You're growing process? That's moonshine. Yeah, and, and that will sanitize your hands. Yeah, that's the, the heads, the leads. Yeah, the stuff that like, goes long. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Like, wash your hands. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, some of them smell like tequila. Some of them, I mean, it's so gross. All right, so we have a shit piece brown ale yeah, right here. here. This <laughs> looks fantastic. I do like it. Everyone, he's gonna need some hair. That's full. No, I mean that's fine. It's just, It'll turn into beer, but he's gonna want some more. It's gonna turn into beer. <laughs> That's a nice head there, buddy. This is good. Straight down the road and gave our head. Nice. Is there any beer in here, bro? <laughs> he's, he's gonna. I have no idea. I wasn't paying no mind.
Whatever. I can bring it. I can bring it. Files. Got seven files. I can burn it. They'll burn it. I have a CD, portable CD ROM. I can hook it to a laptop. I have it at home. I'm bring that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Because John's got the CD. Well, I was suggesting to John that we set it up like a like a. Jay Leno or something where you're like you have a host and you have guests and you have a band that can just like okay like bring us in you know like go to commercial and stuff. Hey everybody, it's Easter. Kill Hammer. <laughs> Everyone here has heard Kill Hammer, probably except for you, right? And you've heard Carrie talk for a little over two hours now. Right? I really want someone to pull up Kill Hammer and play it right now. Oh my god, see your face. Because the first time I met Carrie, I don't remember if I heard him on stage before I spoke with him. I think I heard him play on stage and then I spoke with him. He's and I was like, what? What? <laughs> what? He's got that Austin. So, you're not even from Austin, but you got like that Austin mellow. <laughs> hey, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You hear Dio kind of talking and he's all whatever. And then I'm going to on stage and it's like, <laughs> Yeah. This dude's gonna murder my children. <laughs> and that's just there's an appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> and you love it. And you just love killed it. my kids. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. You win. Yeah. But he did it so soft spokenly. Give me nine months, I'll give you another one. So let me, let me ask you, okay, so we're talking about killing the books. You've now done a, a side project with your brother, no one in sight. But well, how did that come about? You were looking to just sort of do something a little different? I mean, you're not singing and leading. He plays guitar. Yeah, he's playing guitar, man. He doesn't play any instrument uh, in, in, in the killing. <laughs> Me and Lee were in a band before called Fee, F-E-I-D. He sang and I played bass. And uh, we did that for about 12 years or so. And then uh, we went and did our own things after the band kind of yeah. uh, just man. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> He was in a couple of different bands, and then it, one guy moved away, and like that band just stopped. And I was like, "Man, why, why aren't you doing anything?" He's like, "I don't know." Just, he hadn't been putting his feelers out or anything like that, and he hadn't been just worrying about it. And I was like, "Well, shit, we need to get a band going." That you feel it, you know. So we got together, and it, it took a little while. We we initially wanted two singers. And, uh, one was going to be Lee and the other one was going to be uh, Michaela. Oh, really? Uh, Michaela was getting her uh, her license and doing her her apprenticeship. For the tattoos? Yeah, and when you're doing that, I mean, you almost can't do nothing right, else. Right, right. You know, and it's it's like something if you don't stay on top of it, then you don't get good at it. You know, so she really had to just pay all that attention to that. Well, so I think we played at the first No One Did Sight show. It was a hot spot back in the yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we did. So that was awesome, yeah. That was a good thing Michaela did stick with what she was doing because she's the, one of the best tattoo artists out there. So. Yeah, I have quite a few um, tattoos from her. Yeah, the first tattoo she's quite, the, quite the show booking person, too. She books, yeah. books some books some she's she, quite the show. She started up. Booking. Uh, I, I wouldn't say. She, booking. Came, she came to me and said, <laughs> hey, man, there's a, there's a need for us to feed people that need. Oh, they had been for hungry. Yeah, so she's like, what can we do? And I said, well, you know, that you, you pretty much got it all figured out right there. She's like, well, I never set up a show or did anything. I was like, it's easy, man. You just put the word out, see who all wants to get involved, you know, filter through it or, you know, use everybody you possibly can, depending on how, how big or they need to be. And the first two, three years, it went pretty good. So now she's setting up shows at Rackham's because she's right across the street. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's a killer. It's it is, really cool. man. The stage is set up kind of weird. Kind of it's kind of out of It always surprises me the amount of people that are there. It's a lot. That was good. Yeah, it's real good. It's it is hot spot. Hot spot at Rackham's. We got lots of men. And it's like, you would think that you're walking into four people. Walk into tomorrow. Well, at the if there are four right. people there, you feel like you're walking into a crowded place. It's, it's a small place, yeah. and I've tipped them always to class. I keep doing gigs there, man, because the, I know the owners, you know, and, and they yeah. treat me well. Yeah. Man. I mean, well, they're very nice people, so. They'll, they'll give me a guarantee, and I'll try and pay touring people to right. come through that guarantee. And, <laughs> and, 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 you know, that's what you gotta do sometimes, so we'll, we'll, <laughs> take, we'll take things sometimes.
time. Just to make sure that travel yeah. 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 And you've done that for us. And we went, we, I'll thank you. Again. Well, I was, well, you, you, I, I, was I threatened to like leave it on the pool table, and you said, "Well, somebody's just going to come take it because I'm not it's picking it up." Book. So I said, "Okay, I, you win." I will well, take the money. Right, that's what he said. Half wall. Thank you. First two might not be in there. I've done that too. I played show with a the previous band, and there was somebody from Austin. And their car broke down, and all, all this horrible stuff was on the road, and we didn't make them all out. I twist the lime, and I'm like, I made like 30 bucks, and I'm like, let's take it. You know, like, well, well, tour life is not that glamorous. No, so you should know, bro. You've been on tour, like, and every time I've been out on the road, there's always been some catastrophic failure. That's why like, shit won't let them go live. They're like, just get another fucking flat tire. <laughs> yeah, well, after five flat tires, when you only have six, yeah, you know, to go for, um, and a couple on the trailer as well, so yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, fuel pump fails, I mean, it, there's all kinds of stuff that can go wrong when you're on the road, especially driving all over the place, it's not like you're just going here and there, you're going here, there, everywhere, and you, you leave the engine, you leave the engine running constantly because you want air conditioning, right? Okay, I need generator, generators fail, and when you're not using the generator, you use the engine, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a lot of fun. Very good. A lot yeah. of fun. Our stage yeah. show about three weeks ago with the band called Black Mariah. They're from uh, Houston. They've been out since the 90s. Right. And uh, they were coming through. And my guitar is just like, dude, we got to play with this band. Yeah. And uh, we were like, all right, cool, cool. I was like, I, I remember their name. So, yeah, it was pretty enticing to get to play with some bands that you know has been around the band world. And I mentioned before we got off stage, look, man, buy some stuff from these guys. You know what I'm saying? If, yeah. if you buy something from this band, what you're doing is you're putting some money in their gas tank and some food in their bellies to get them home. True. You know, and people are like, damn, I never thought about it that way. I was like, they're, they're a touring band, man. Yeah. It's not like everybody has all these huge sponsors that are paying them to be on the road. They're on the road because they love being on the road. Right. And they want to go play yeah. their music. Yeah, that's not paying the bills in almost all no. cases. Absolutely. You're losing money going on tour most of the time. Yeah. Uh, you know, we play for track and thing. Just be like, you know, we're going to add. That's what we were talking about. I'll do a show with somebody from Mobile and somebody from Louisiana and just give them the money. You know what I mean? It's just, we. We live in that. Thank you for. Uh, we didn't lose shit. Going to grab a yeah. uh, Spreading the love. The next too. one, I only got two of these. Yeah, so we'll have to short pour, 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 uh, pour. Uh, which, one, which one is it? I'm slowing down the meanwhile. I've got to drop okay. this. Right. Right. What's right. the right. next beer? What is it? This oh, is New World Porter. New World Porter. New World Porter. It's very explosive from what I was saying. It's at. Me and Dominique came up with this. Is good. Yeah. You like Porter's like you know, this, 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 this was one of the best ideas I think I've ever had. You know. That new world order kind of reminds me of the NW back in the Oh, that yeah. order. The whole new world order. Uh, uh, the wrestling thing. Uh, yeah. That was uh, Bush Sr. He did one of his famous yeah, things. It was a new world order. In yeah, this particular beer, we used that Metal and Beer Fest number five to boil the brats. And yeah, like both sides of the. This was the new world order brats. And that's where we came up with the name. We were sitting there talking about the beer. And I don't think Kerry had a name for it. It was a couple of beers tossing around. And uh, New World Order cleans it up. We went with it. Yeah, this year we well, New World Order. <laughs> Most of my. Uh, what is that? Oh. <laughs> Most of my beers come up with, uh, with a musical title or something that plays off of a band or something. Ministry, you know, New World Order. I think this is. That works. Anybody else? I think this has got sourdough bread. This is a sourdough stuff. It's just a little excited. You that well, you can still right? pour it. You rubbed up against it a lot, bro. I, I did not You want me to pour it? It happens to me every time. Too. Too. Let's see, let's see. Is this the one that exploded on Rob? It, it is. is. Yeah. yeah. It says, look, I said, I heard. The, le the, the oh, label oh, says oh. it's revolutionary. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wonder why I was sitting yeah. It must have been during Skull Nose's set, and you were sitting by your room. I put in it's revolutionary. Wow. Really, it's, it's brown sugar. It's good stuff. This is this is probably my favorite of your beers. Really? Yes, it is good. Mm, that's nice. It's, it's, very it's good. like I put. I can smell it from here. So like, I'm not chasing lazy by any means, but they so, had a they had a stout by you. the name of. You don't want it, Jeff? I got a back stout. Stuff, bro. It was Jeff Davis. Okay. And it was his recipe. Oh wow. And it had sweet potato. 
Well, this didn't have sweet potato in it, but I made sure to put like a lot of, you know, cane sugar. This is good. Brown sugar in it. That's really good. Because that spikes up that, that gravity. Well, it is good. You gotta try it. Yeah. Let me try it. There's some in there. Oh, yeah. That's, Anybody who hasn't had, had a little bit, that's something like that. Yeah, and this right here will make your brows. Your brows. Hmm? Oh, the brows were fantastic. <laughs> Actually, uh, I did the brats with the onions and milk. Uh, okay, okay, we're we're gonna, with uh, this is a little more. The other hit five was a quarter that I made that time with your brats. Uh, 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 that's right. I remember that. This one's got brown sugar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Lots of And how does how does we'll add the difference between molasses and brown sugar? Sugar bring out a different flavor. Do you buy that? So it's the last same set. Oh, good. Said he was trying to buy some set. Like you have this clear and DW or something on Facebook. Okay. So when you were telling me that set, what is he getting? So what comes out is brown. Oh, gotcha. All right. Molasses. The chicken molasses is crystallized. It's too strong. Twenty-five. Okay. Okay. Some interest from some, the dead night. Yeah, uh, can you say anything about that? Or some place called PGM, which right. uh, smell the same ten percent EBV, and uh, uh, it's, it's pretty what they hard. mainly deal with is uh, catalytic converters. Mm -hmm. Ah, crackheads go there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, but they, they got to bring the proper yeah. material, yeah. proper yeah. paperwork yeah. For, yeah. for them to get their little crackhead paycheck. So all I do is come. I don't pay for. Except that which just can be good, but, it's very um, but it really are. Like, oh, but I have some people that like. I, mean, I, mean, I have like number three and number four in the company that so spent mm -hmm. like, stock in the younger, and they came down yeah, and, uh, yeah, and that's that they, that we were all leaving right. for the day. They had to come like do something <laughs> that's being re-administered into the office so they had to go show everybody how to use the network and all that. They came down and we were all leaving and they were all like, they asked the supervisor, she said, man, we're going to get a crap beer. And he yeah, said, that you're getting in that car right there and have some good crap beer, he makes homebrew. You know, and they were like, really? Uh, and like, I don't feel tell like them to bring so some. Slippery. So the right. next day I brought about 13 different styles, which was <laughs> like one of each of these nice. that I had. You know, and they were like, <laughs> really like, well, I'm not paying with them. Um, it's about just two days later, I started to get abuse on the beer, and they, they're, they're taking it to the number one guy in the corporation, and uh, they want to they want to talk business already. Very nice. So if they can talk number one in the business, then they're just going to go ahead and buy a building, buy everything I need to try and go commercial. That's awesome. That is actually So right now, they're looking into the Mississippi Walks. Don't show it to me. I don't care about that too much stuff. Yeah. Irons, we've, we've talked enough to yeah. kind of like try and leave my payroll on what, what I'm doing right now. Okay. You know, and then just shoot at me a few extra dollars on my toys and stuff like that. So, I mean, we are talking about it. Uh, uh, and I got was out and this was the other day. Which used to be like an old church. I like to go straight to my house. And there's like all these little platforms off to the side where the actual, like, you know, I guess. It's where they hold the church or whatever, there's like classrooms off to the side and off to the back. And then they have like big kitchens. So the big kitchen will suffice for food, garbage making. And then all the classrooms, I'm thinking I'm going to rent out a couple of spots to bands that, that I have either in or other bands. Um, get a print shop going off in there too. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> Sorry, John. <laughs> Well, you know, we got space. Hey, Expo Science could uh, could franchise. It could be an Expo Expo West or Expo East. Yeah, we're good. That's what I used to do before we got into real life. We used to teach them to do it. We need to meet somebody. We need to stop. Well, clarification is that friendship 
the yep. t-shirt guy next door. Uh, we need a, a Mississippi t-shirt first. Right? We do. We do. Um, Jason, Jason does that kind of stuff all in school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's a killer. He doesn't own the business, but he, he prints it. Yeah. So all, all the different shirts he's printed. He's like, all right. Some got extra 
Every van gets four. So four cases. And then any extra went to VIP. And how many bottles are in a case? Uh, 96. 24, so there's 96 oh, and four cases. 96 and four, that's what I'm that's what I'm <laughs> What's more impressive to me than the quality of the beer is the, I mean, how you freaking house, dude? The quantity. quantity. And, and you have about four hand. of us sit around the table, man. And we, that's wild. We need another order. Of and y'all hand right. put on Take the labels the and shit? And the bottle yeah. caps. Put me in. Yes, indeed. Who threw this? Who threw this? So that's 96. Someone, huh? someone reminded me that we had 18 bands in a day. There's no way you had 18 bands. That was Metal and Beer 2, right? Who gets that pass? Better late than now. Charlie Shun, Mr. Shooter himself, just walked in. He didn't know the rest of whatever's sitting around that we ever had. <laughs> Look over there, probably anything that's sitting around. Charles, go get you a glass. Right, right up there. Look, I'm uh, on the ball. There's yeah, one right next to I took it out of the, out of the box right there. Right? So he had another one of those fantastic Senators Revival oh, people just walked in. Yeah, he's the oh, keyboard player, player, guitar player, singer extraordinary. extraordinary. And he's dancing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's called Sexy. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 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 We're at Expo Science, which is uh, you know, John's business, and he does great. Drum, drum head wraps, or excuse me, drum head decals, right. yeah. vehicle wraps, all kinds of banners for concerts. Banners, all concerts. Back, all if you got a special of, event, stuff for your business, he's oh, great. Oh, yeah. But he allows, well, his own band practices here, and you, you might see, I don't know if you can see these banners back here, but Sinners is home is here too. So we, we wear, you know, well, Sinners Revive. This, this is, is where the Sinners reside. This is where they revive. They revive. And they drink their artists. Live right here. Without this too? We would be nothing. It would be just I some doing. trivial bullshit. Yeah, you just saw us sit. You'd go like three, four, <laughs> and everybody fucking does that. Hey, you swole. guys got it now. Hey, swole. It, you know how give us a love to the blood, blood bath. You need a fucking bell. Love to, to, to the blood bath. They are here to rock and roll.
Oh, wow. What kind of mix? Is that the pineapple? Yeah. I love that. You want to mix it up? You want to All right. Mix I'd say we're mixing it up pretty good. This is all right. These cats just pop that shit. This is the uh, the faint of heart. I want to oh, take man. part of the meads because that's going to kick your ass. Look at the bubbles like slowly getting Hey, it's, uh, it's pineapple pulp, so. Look at the pulps. Oh, yeah. Look at those pulps. Pulp bushes. Like a pulp. That's oh, fiction, oh. isn't it? Pulp section. Did you pulp? Did you say pulp? <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh, swinging, swinging, uh, Brent. No. <laughs> he loves pineapple. <laughs> is, that, I mean, is that bottle upside down? I did notice that some people were pouring the, the excess or rinsing out their glass into a cup. I think we should have a challenge at the end of the night. Oh, of course, not. Oh, never mind. I didn't drink that. Oh, no, who's that drink that? We already yeah, tried that. He did $10. He'll do anything. I didn't say that either. He's had a big burrito. Oh! Oh! Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Okay, now this is uh, it's me, right? So it's yeah. mellow man. So it's like a yeah, it's it's actually mellow mel, but it starts out as me, which is <laughs> it's water, me. It's got way more. honey, Alcohol. and yeast. Oh, All right, when it's done, it makes what they call a honey wine. It's not a beer, it's honey wine. I can think of something else. Once you put fruit in there, it goes from mead to melamel. They have a place at Disney Springs that sells meads. like probably nine different ones to I mean, Oh, yeah, that's common. There's no basis for that. I paid $6 for a shot. That was chugging as a bee. I haven't started yet. I will say, I, I didn't have this one at the show. I had the, the blue, the next one we're going to do. I did. And I'm not real familiar with mead, and I took a swig, and I'm like, whoa. That's <laughs> strong. I've only, drink, I've only drank mead out of the horn. Yeah, I found that. Yeah. Yeah. I did it for I did see the horn one time. That was at CCG uh, 3, hey. I think. Like, oh, that was an honor. Honey. <laughs> That's what this is. All beans are. Oh, honey, the mango, and the mango. Bring some beans, Charles. Yeah, I made that for rainwater. With rainwater? Yeah, caught a bunch of rainwater, filtered it a couple times. Well, I used to collect rainwater. And then I made a batch for my sister. She had passed away, and it was like, a bunch left. It's what I was putting in the it was fantastic. Yeah. He like, I did. It was. was like, did that like He's like, 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 Sure. Why not? Yeah. I like every time. Every, every time I listen to, to, to this and he plays that, I'd be the motherfucker at the end. That was, that was great. great. That was great. The one guy at the end listening to some oh, to some side go. <laughs> yeah. Honey, honey made more. I bought the whole collection for ten bucks. I got it in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Where is it? fifty-three songs. <laughs> where, where is it? Take two. It, it was like it was like uh, the Ramones. Well, we got, that, that we got 53 songs orange. in 27 minutes. It was great. I put together some little quick like color idea. Look, it's kind of like the it's like the, the Clash yeah. album and the Elvis yeah. album. He's like, that's great, man. It was like bullshit. I mean, sure, you could get a taste out of it. Which one is he looking for? The it's only, it was only two of those, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This one still got beer in it. See, yeah. he wants more of this one. Sure. You want more jalapeno? Let's do it. Jalapeno? Jalapeno. 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 You don't even want my bar beer. No, we already got that one here. Yeah, but the jalapeno is good, man. Yeah, the jalapeno is fantastic. No burn to it whatsoever, but it tastes like jalapeno. It's weird. So, Carrie, I want to I ask you, I've noticed, like, of the assortment for this uh, year's fest, you had three bottles of clear. You had 
swole because it was red, and you're both of your meads. Is that just because the meads would look nicer, or you just <laughs> set them apart from the beer, kind of? Well, Swole hit me up and said, hey, when you make my beer, I think it would look better in a clear bottle. And I said, yeah, yeah, it would. And I was getting some bottles from Lazy Magnolia, and they screwed up and gave me like about 12 cases of clear bottles. Perfect. And so when he was like, can we get it in a clear bottle? I said, I don't know, bud. It's hard to get some clear bottles. I was just wild lying to him the whole time. <laughs> I was like, he just, it sure will look cooler in a clear bottle. You know, I said, yeah, it would. Well, we'll see. It, it might have to go in brown bottles. So. <laughs> Take it, motherfucker. So, so he was like, can we, you think we can get that beer from that beer on the fist? I said, nah, man. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to start it until afterwards. I said, we're, we're, I'm pretty much to the, Notice the grind. He goes, all right. And he asked me a couple more times. I said, no, <laughs> man, we're not going to be able to get it. Yeah. It was already bottled at my house. We were all, <laughs> we were all in clear bottles. So I lied to him again. I just said, can't do it. You sent me that video on text, and you could look at this bad boy, and it was like all full of red. And it's like, you out in the sunlight in the backyard. It looked, it looked incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so slow. Did you have no idea you were I had no fucking idea, too. <laughs> Everyone surprised me at Metal and Beer Fest. I was like, wow. Yeah, I was like, very away. surprised. Yeah, yeah, he came and helped me. I, I was going to walk my uh, two tickets for my mom and my wife to the to the gate. And I'm like, so well, take a walk with me. And he looks mm -hmm. fucking 80 miles down the track. <laughs> like, All right, dude, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got monster legs. I'm walking. Hey, you saw that shit from 20 yards away. It was I like, fuck beer! <laughs> I love how we got it on video on like four different angles, too. It's killing. Well, yeah, we gotta just, edit some cool like, like, holy shit, shit up here. here. You can edit like a. Well, like well, with, the, with the brood entrance, it, it always goes. Oh, well, the, the, no uh, matter what, the brood and the bloodbath entrance. I know you have. Always be. You have blessings. Like I'm using them on the center of the I have a cross in my backyard, and I wanted to fill it with big blood and put you in it. Hey, you saw the compilation. Hey, you boy saw you yeah, saw that yeah, image awesome of the computer job. up here. I can't. Oh, and he was like, two unveiling the beer. He was like, too much. Is that like, my label? The last, but is, my beer, is my beer gonna be ready? Uh, and they were like, like, no, 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 that's for later. That's for later. And the first thing he said was, nice. I don't like that rubber duck in there. <laughs> he, said, he said that. He said that shit's got to go. I couldn't remember even saying that one. I got it. I got it. Mark was like, Mark was like, Mark was like, Nah, brother, duck stays. Duck stays. He yeah. says no duck, no label. That's right. You can duck off with that. Well, and well, when Mark told me that, you, I said, no duck, no duck. label. You got to have that duck. He well, was like, Why? You know. <laughs> I had, I had sent the label to John for him to print it, and then it was up on his screen, and he didn't realize it. And Swole walked back there one day, and he's like, What's this? Am I in the tub with the dog? What the hell is that? I'm like, uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was a prank at first. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was too drunk at Cinco de Mayo Day, so I couldn't feel the fucking dog. Is that the damn. kill him? Pass it down. Oh, that's so beautiful. Blueberry? Yes, sir. So we ready. Blueberry. Any, any, he gets out and did something or other. He came, but did Smells amazing. He went home. He texted me and said his air conditioner went out. He's waiting for a tank. So he had some time. I was like, Doc, I'm going to This is the other half. All right. So this is, what is this here? Strongest. Fruity dude. This is the one I had at the show. Like, black blueberries, these are. Uh, Ooh, it's got the little blueberry. And black blueberries. I just felt compelled to put it back like you had to like a family. The, black, the blackberries came out of my backyard. I think we should have some red bark. My whole thing has been waiting for you to leave this yeah, guy. Yeah, I've like, really uh, uh, tried to be the least dick about it in a good match. What? Okay. I just saw the show. The Boston State Challenge. They were like, thorns. We grew them and they were, they came out like beautiful. Here you go! Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. I think that was like first year, really great blueberries. Serious black at Expo. Blueberries came out. Blueberries came out. I wanted to save the show. So a lot, of, a lot of the beers you brew, you use local ingredients. Oh, yeah, if you can get, yeah. get it, that's amazing. Because I remember for the honey, uh, you you might know, the honey you know, he asked me if there was a local honey maker, a honey, a honey bee razor. Yeah. 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 
Uh, yeah, and then we, we couldn't find any, so you went as close as you could get. Right. So, I ordered some out of Texas. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty close. That's nice. Though. Yeah, it came right from Ellison. Oh, one day. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And he did it. Oh, like, oh, 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 you got to scrape that out. You got to get all that membrane out and all the seeds, and then you have the heat. That's you extract cool. all the Scoville units whatsoever. Oh, right. There's no heat to it. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a miracle. It's, <laughs> no, I'm, you know, like you said, <laughs> you know, people, people go for a jalapeno <laughs> or a pepper stout <laughs> beer. They really can't you give it the sugar because you don't need the vinegar. No, you don't need that much. Right. I mean, unless you're trying to break some fucking old burger. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, we get us out. Like, what's that? Ghostface Killer or whatever? Yeah. 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 You just want the flavor of it, you put as much as you want. Nice. Right? As long as you put the membrane in the seeds. Yeah, yeah. also get her stripped up good. The thing about the only thing you're going to find the way you said it is so much. You want more contact space. Okay. So if you're going to make a pumpkin, you want to dice the shit out of it. Put it in a room. Oh, that's going to look good. Come up with more. I love it, man. 